Well, I, Jason Verney, um, hereby and here, herein review I, Daniel Blake, the film by Ken Loach. I've just come from witnessing it at the uh, local tricycle cinema. Um, I was going to wait until it's... Well, it, it's kind of um, showing other places, but it's also there's a special... There's a free screening uh, with a QA and a with the director and with um, Francesca Martinez, who's the comedian. Um, she's an activi- activist as well. She also has disabilities, but she's pretty well known in the, as I say, in the act- activism circuit. Um, but yeah, I decided to see it tonight. Uh, and if if I, I, I think I'll see it again at the um, at SOAS. That's where the uh, the, uh, the free free screening is in a, a little over a week, I guess. Um, I also feel like I'm not. Um, in some ways, I'm not really um, qualified to give such a re- review of Ken Loach film i mean fair enough it's it's a film it doesn't have to be labeled as a ken loach film but it's it's one of his films and he's done over 50 films in his career i believe and he's um some for tv plays for tv which were sort of mini dramas i guess for uh television um yeah i've, yeah, I've seen kes kes um the the film about the kestrel kestrel uh i think but Believe it or not, I think when I went to see that film, I didn't even realise that the the word Kez was a, a short form for the word Kestrel. But anyway, uh, I'm normally good at picking up on these things, but I obviously didn't. Well, I guess that's what it was, but hey. Um, I also saw the recent documentary about Ken Loach, um, which revealed a lot to me about him. I mean, not only his directing style... Um, but also, I mean, his, I guess, political leanings. Uh, but I don't want to, I don't want to make this, this podcast, uh, regarding, you know, to be about political stuff as such. Um, but yeah, the documentary opened my eyes. I mean, I like the way he, you know, he uses actors that, you know, they're not, they're not massive, massively known actors. He does things his way. And why shouldn't you? I mean, sometimes I do feel like, you know the the fact that a big name has to go in a film to um you know to to make it to make it popular it shouldn't be about that really i know it's about production it's about money that at the end of the day it's all about money but really it should be um you know it should be the story and the vision it should be but all of it combined combined and then some would say actually it should be <laughs> taken into account that it should have a big actor i'm not saying someone like Tom Cruise or someone like that should play this part. Well, definitely not. But um, in fact, I'm, I'm saying the, the, the exact opposite of that. Um, but anyway, yeah, of course he's been well, he's well known from the even from back in the sixties as Kathy Come Home, Up the Junction, uh, films that I'm sure my mum would probably, and I'm, I'm pretty sure she's you know she's she remembers these with quite a lot of passion. Now this film, um, it's not it's definitely not an ad an advert for the um, Conservative Party or any government, to be honest, one we're used to. And definitely, I would say not for Maggie Thatcher and her, that era, because the way things have gone with the housing and and people getting benefits and what have you, that's, we, 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 we're all pretty aware that she, she, you know, she had a bad bad and a good, good things that she brought to, uh, UK, um, but anyway, so I I just um, I just wanted to sort of say it's not it's, it's not definitely not an ad. I mean, of course, it's 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 labour infused, I guess. Labour, if you're going to say it's a uh, if you're going to say it's a party a party sided film, um, but it, this film also, I mean, I f- I felt compelled to do a, a review of it or a br- brief view a review of this. Um, this film because partly because it resonated with me from back in 2014 um you know i i actually left my r- job for whatever reason uh, as uh, i had you know i knew what i was doing to to a degree and at, at some point i did sign on and i was amazed at when when you go to the job center you know even if it's temporary or whatever that it takes a long time to set things up there's a lot of bureaucracy people are just doing their jobs but you know and you can see what's coming you can see also that computers are taking over and this is a big 
part of this film. Um, it's, um, you know, the way it's becoming computerised, everybody's just basically saying, we can't do this until this is done, um, until you've spoken to this person. And uh, this film, I mean, I mean, when I was in the job centre for this brief time, I guess, I, I, it's quite interesting who I spoke to there. There was, there was actually, there was a really nice woman there who we spoke but most times we would be there at the same time, we'd have a little conversation, we'd be whinging about the way things were. Um, a guy who, funny enough, was related. He wasn't Korean, he wasn't English, he was related to Korea. And that, that was a bizarre situation at, at the time. Um, but yeah, as I say, there was a lot of whinging. Um, at the same time, a lot of laughing because of the whinging. I, I got to a point where, I mean, back in 2014, I was very sort of... Um, getting into the politics a bit more um which, whichever reason whether it's jobs or relationships or is there something some angst in me that's could continued i guess in the back of my mind at the forefront sometimes especially in the past year um but i mean it got, it got to me so much so i was going to the, the the job center i was going with tape recorder or sorry tape recorder that sounds old-fashioned uh recording recording conversations were being had with you know that I was having and people next to me were having um I was you know it's kind of incognito I guess I just found it amazing that all these sort of uh things were putting barriers were put in your way to get to the next place and then you had to do this and you had to show how much work you'd been look, looking for and, all this. and now, now I have to say at this point Yes, we are lucky that in this country, yeah, we pay our taxes, we get this, and some countries don't even have this to fall back on. Now, I completely understand that. Uh, but this film, this film does... I think everyone should see this this film. I mean, I, Daniel Blake, is... Yeah, it, it's, it should be an eye-opener for many people, and also some people it will probably resonate, you know, it will, it will, it will shine through what they already know. Um... So yeah, I mean, and and this film, this film, it's 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 funny in ways where it's, uh, I mean, it's funny in, in quite a lot of the film, especially near the beginning, but it's um, there's a lot of sort of comedy with the the phone messages that you you hear on the job centre line when you're ringing up for JSA Job Seekers Allowance, and speaking to somebody and being put on hold, music. Now this this is a gripe of mine. I'm sure half the people in this country, if not more, you know, banks, other companies, I've. I, I get to the point where I even just for fun record my conversations with with people every now and again. It hasn't happened for a while, or even just the, the even just the the messages you hear, the selections you have to make. But as I say, it's all going computerized, and we we're, we're kind of stuck with that at the moment. Um, but yeah, this film touches on you know being out of work, um, having. Um, basically benefits or or basically not be able to work because you've got a health problem all this comes into it food banks are covered um that's such a, i mean this country we shouldn't have well, it's a great thing that people donate food but this film depicts it that you know these people are queuing up for hours well, it seems like hours just to get these free you know free food handouts um and it also covers social cleansing this the girl in it who forms a a bond with the the main character, um, uh, Daniel Blake. They they form a great you know sort of a bond with its ups and downs. I guess I should say. Uh, but she she's come from London to this 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 town, um, and now that's quite sweet. She's got children. It's it's a nice bond. Yeah, sure. It's a bit contrived at times. But then you know what what drama film or drama piece of drama isn't. Um, but overall, it's it's a funny film. It's very sad in places. It's gritty because it's realistic. Um, what I did like was the fact that you know his name is Daniel Daniel Blake Dan. They call him, of course, for short. And um, you know when when the when the when the children are saying uh, Dan or even even the the girl herself, the mother, the mother of two children. Um, you know, it sounds like she's saying, "Dad." It's kind of he—he he is there for her. It, it's a great. I, I mean, there's really. I'm trying. I'm, I'm aware of the time. I'm going to kind of probably um, cut this short soon. But um, yeah, I, I really wanted to sort of first of all state that I'm probably not. 
I'm probably not qualified to really give a in-depth review of this, but it's without giving it away as well. I mean, I didn't know much about this film. I heard it was great. I heard it was it's um it covers you know various political aspects and people having to sign on the way the bureaucracy the the fact the, pa- the fact that the fact that people when they're told to no you have to wait here you have to be seen at this point and this and there's there's no real justification for it um it's just there like it's that's the definition i guess of bureaucracy in in many ways um so yeah um that's that's pretty much it i i i urge you to see it i daniel blake is a great film <clears throat> excuse me a bit warm i think i've just come back from the cinema a bit quickly in the cold um but yeah, I I I I feel like everyone should see this film, especially if you're from the UK um or England, whatever you want to class us as now. Um but yeah, it's 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 a very good film. I'm sure I've missed something off the review here, but I just wanted to you know, record this while it's fresh in my mind. I might even do a, a second part to this when I if if I go and see it a second time. As I say it's going to be at SOAS. Um, which is, you know, a great university. I've not studied there, but I go there for events, whether relating to Korean events or, all, or for other um, important films and discussions. Um, but, yeah, the director's going to be there. I think it's um, it's on the 9th of Feb. I probably shouldn't um, probably shouldn't publicise it too much. I'm sure they're going to be over over full anyway, but it's the, the, Q, the Q&A with, with Ken Loach and Francesca Martinez... Just while I've got a bit of time on here, I will say that I remember seeing Francesca Martinez. I mean, she's also... I mean, you probably remember from the episode of Extras. Uh, she's she's in one of the episodes of Extras, Ricky Gervais series. Uh, but, yeah, she's a stand-up comic. But I remember, I remember her doing a great um, speech at... I think it was the Climate Change March... Um, couple of years ago i mean it's it's not great that i can't remember which march i'm pretty certain it was that one i don't go on that many marches but that was a very important one and sort of one that's you know um i hold a lot of love for well basically it's the planet we all should but anyway i'm drifting off from the film there from politics to climate change and all this but i think you should see it um if you know it might not be your cup of tea but it's uh it de- it's definitely down to earth kind of film um um oh, one thing i forgot to mention he's um yeah i mean some of ken loach's films he has penned himself he has written himself uh this is not one of them i'm not sure i, I, I it looks it seems like three quarters of his films he hasn't but i do know of ones that he he has anyway i'll leave it at that and um that's it that's uh i daniel blake reviewed by i jason Verney. okay goodbye <laughs>